everyone and welcome as you join us again today on another little geocaching meander uh, around a place called Stoke not Stoke on Trent I'll show you this little wood feature here pretty cool so we're heading up to the uh, the lock and we're doing an adventure labs cache which is a series of five puzzles what we're doing and we've done some we're doing some standard caches in between so i uh, hope you enjoy It's your colour, Jazz. You must like your colour. Are <laughs> <laughs> no, you still coming? No, I'm getting out of it. <laughs> so we're doing a geocache. So today we're at Stoke Bardolph. So we're starting today's adventure. I'm just going to do a a lab. Yeah, we're doing some lab caches uh, and a few extra bonus caches while we're at. There's a lot of geese around and swans. So show you, we're walking along the side of the River Trent. It's definitely a bit cooler today. It's cooled down. Yeah, it's still nice, but it's definitely cooled down a bit. We've done three geocaches so far, and we're walking down to a lab, a lab cache to start one, which is just a short walk down the river. And we are on the 3rd of January today, for those of you interested in the date. Stoke Lock is one of the largest on the River Trent and uh, can't really see it from here but we'll see it in a minute when we get around to it oh like animals I always think it's a shame when they block a uh, lock off from the main river and you can't walk across it and walk up the side and look at the, the river flowing because it's quite fast around that side. And there's the lock keeper's cottage. And there's his hut. And probably that's where he's based and lives, there. That's his house. So they're doing the venture lab. 
section and they're going to carry on up the woods that was a bit tricky that one that, that was very confusing but we figured it out so if you're doing this the answer is there you might have to spend a bit more time thinking about it right we're going to another cache now it's 50 foot away and it's in this wood Oh man, it's gonna be fun. See, back to the start now. Okay. Alright, so that's that one done. That was a nice straightforward one. Once we got <laughs> once we went the right way. As always, you end up walking along the wrong path. But yeah. There's a plane buzzing around up there, you can probably hear it. <laughs> Places it takes you when you're geocaching, eh? In fact, it's all building. You can't go into it though. It's all locked up. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all locked up now. There's no dates on it. I had a thing about dates after watching someone on YouTube showing dates. Which I'm gonna do when I find one that's worth doing. Yeah, it's all locked up. Just lots of success. We did six plus um, ten so far today. Yeah, ten in total. So, yeah, we're doing really well. We're so far we're on 45 for the year, and we're only on the third, third of January today. So, yeah, it's really good going. So we've got another one to do, we're going to, well try to do it. We'd already been down here, past this guy who was cutting his hedge and uh, that's pretty much where the cache is and uh, it's around a church so we're going to go back to it and, make sure, and see if he's still there, see if he's moved on. So yeah, let's continue. Hello. Hiya, so we're absolutely gutted, we went, attempted a church micro hide and apparently it was in plain sight. We spent a while looking, but we couldn't find it. And it's supposed to be a che really cheeky, sneaky hide. We looked in all the places. Yeah. No, no chance. So now we're going on. We're going to see if we can get one more or two more done. And we'll call it a day. There's another one done. Another one successfully found. Big wind turbine over there, look. Right, so it's fast flowing water. So we'll keep away from it, yeah? Keep on walking up this path. You do not want to fall in there. If you fall in there, you go in out to River Trentos. Okay? Come on, Jazz. Let's keep walking. So you can find the next one. It's along this path somewhere. So that was 14 finds for the day. We are creeping just that little bit closer to our current goal, which is 2,500 geocaches. So I hope you enjoyed this one and please remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll be back again very soon with another family adventure.